Welcome to Crohn's Wellness, where wellness meets wisdom and your health takes center stage. If you're on a quest for a healthier, happier you, you're in the right place. But before we dive into the treasure trove of well-being, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, share the wellness love, and drop a comment below. We thrive on your support. Thanks, loyal viewers, for joining us on this journey. Let's soar to new heights of health together. Imagine this. Your brain, the control center of your entire body, suddenly at risk of a silent but deadly threat. Welcome to our video on brain aneurysms, a topic that's as fascinating as it is critical to understand. Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of brain aneurysms, exploring what they are, how they happen, and most importantly, what you need to know to protect yourself and your loved ones. The brain serves as the epicenter of our existence, orchestrating every aspect of our being from the moment we are born until our final breath. It is the command center of the nervous system, responsible for regulating and coordinating virtually every bodily function, from the beating of our hearts to the firing of our neurons. Beyond its role in basic physiological processes, the brain is the seat of consciousness, cognition, and identity, shaping our thoughts, emotions, memories, and behaviors. It enables us to perceive the world around us, make sense of our experiences, and navigate the complexities of life. Without our brains, we would cease to exist as sentient beings, stripped of our ability to think, feel, and interact with the world. Thus, the importance of our brains cannot be overstated, as they are the essence of who we are and the ultimate essence of our humanity. It is incumbent upon us to prioritize brain health, nurturing, and protecting this remarkable organ to ensure our well being and vitality throughout our lives. First things first, let's unravel the mystery behind brain aneurysms. Picture a weak spot in the wall of a blood vessel in your brain, like a tiny balloon ready to burst. That's essentially what a brain aneurysm is, a bulge in a blood vessel that can rupture and cause a life-threatening bleed. A brain aneurysm is a deformity of an artery where a spot in the arterial wall in the brain bulges and fills with blood. It may also be called an intracranial aneurysm or cerebral aneurysm. A brain aneurysm is a potentially life-threatening condition that can affect a person at any age. If a brain aneurysm bursts or ruptures, it's an emergency situation that can result in a stroke, brain damage, and even death if not treated immediately. But here's the kicker. Brain aneurysms often show no symptoms until they grow large or rupture, leading to a sudden and potentially catastrophic event known as a subarachnoid hemorrhage. Large or ruptured aneurysms will usually show definite symptoms and require emergency medical care. The symptoms and warning signs of a brain aneurysm vary based on whether it has ruptured or not. An unruptured brain aneurysm may often present no symptoms, earning it the moniker of a silent threat. However, in some cases, individuals may experience subtle signs that warrant attention. These signs can include headaches, particularly if they are severe or different from usual headaches in intensity or pattern. Additionally, individuals might notice changes in vision, such as double vision or blurred vision, as well as changes in speech, including difficulty speaking or understanding language. Other potential symptoms of an unruptured aneurysm may include pain above or behind the eye, a drooping eyelid, or numbness or weakness in the face. While these symptoms may seem minor or unrelated, they could indicate an underlying issue and should prompt a thorough evaluation by a healthcare professional to assess the possibility of an unruptured brain aneurysm. A leaking brain aneurysm, also known as a sentinel bleed, can present with subtle but potentially serious symptoms that may precede a full rupture. These symptoms can include sudden and severe headaches, often described as the worst headache of your life, along with neck stiffness or pain. Individuals may also experience sensitivity to light, nausea, and vomiting. In some cases, a leaking aneurysm can cause a sudden onset of confusion, dizziness, or changes in mental status. Additionally, individuals may notice changes in vision, such as double vision or blurred vision, and difficulty speaking or understanding language. While these symptoms may come and go or seem relatively mild, they should never be ignored, as they could indicate a critical condition requiring urgent medical attention. If experiencing any of these symptoms, it is crucial to seek immediate medical evaluation to assess the possibility of a leaking brain aneurysm and prevent further complications. 
A ruptured brain aneurysm is a medical emergency that requires immediate attention due to its potentially life-threatening nature. When an aneurysm ruptures, it causes bleeding into the space around the brain, known as a subarachnoid hemorrhage. The most common symptom of a ruptured brain aneurysm is a sudden and severe headache, often described as the worst headache of your life. This headache may be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and a stiff neck. Individuals may also experience sensitivity to light, blurred or double vision, and changes in mental status, such as confusion or loss of consciousness. In some cases, a ruptured aneurysm can lead to a sudden onset of seizures. These symptoms typically develop suddenly and rapidly worsen over a matter of minutes to hours. It's important to note that not all ruptured aneurysms present with the classic symptoms, and some individuals may only experience mild or atypical symptoms. However, any sudden and severe headache should be taken seriously, and immediate medical attention should be sought to determine the cause and prevent further complications. What causes brain aneurysms? Brain aneurysms develop due to a combination of genetic and environmental factors that weaken the walls of blood vessels in the brain. While the exact cause of aneurysm formation is not always clear, certain risk factors can increase the likelihood of their development. These risk factors include high blood pressure, smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, drug abuse, and a family history of brain aneurysms. Additionally, certain medical conditions such as polycystic kidney disease and connective tissue disorders like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and Marfan syndrome can predispose individuals to aneurysm formation. Trauma to the head or neck, infections, and inflammatory conditions may also contribute to the weakening of blood vessel walls and increase the risk of aneurysm development. Ultimately, brain aneurysms occur when the pressure of blood flow causes a weakened area of a blood vessel to balloon outwards, forming a bulge that can rupture and lead to potentially life-threatening bleeding in the brain. Brain aneurysms can take several forms. About 90% are saccular, or berry, aneurysms. This type forms a sac outside the artery that looks like a berry attached to a vine. A fusiform aneurysm is a rarer type of aneurysm that affects a longer section of the artery wall, causing the artery to bulge all the way around. It's estimated that 3 to 13% of brain aneurysms are fusiform. Unless an aneurysm ruptures, it may be difficult to diagnose. Doctors can use certain tests to locate brain aneurysms in people who have a family history of the condition, risk factors, and inherited aneurysm-related health issues. It's also possible for an aneurysm to be detected during tests for unrelated health conditions, such as headaches or seizures. Diagnosis of brain aneurysms relies on imaging that can visualize brain tissues and arteries, which may detect the presence of an aneurysm. Imaging tests may include one or more of the following. Number 1. Magnetic resonance imaging and MRI scan works by using radio waves and magnetic fields to create images of your brain. It's particularly useful for detecting and evaluating unruptured aneurysms. A type of MRI called magnetic resonance angiography can make detailed images of brain arteries to help pinpoint the location, size, and shape of an aneurysm. Number 2. Computed tomography. A CT scan takes several X-rays to produce horizontal images of the brain. Images from a CT scan are often utilized to find bleeding in your brain due to a leaking or ruptured aneurysm. A type of CT scan called CT angiography uses a special dye to help your doctor more effectively see how blood is flowing in the arteries of your brain. Number 3. Digital Subtraction Angiography With DSA, a thin, flexible tube called a catheter is inserted into an artery in the groin. The catheter is then threaded up to the brain. Once in the brain, a special dye is released through the catheter. A computer then uses X-ray images from before and after the application of the dye to produce images. These images include only blood vessels and none of the other surrounding structures, such as bone. Last but not the least, number four, cerebrospinal fluid tests, sometimes, imaging may not clearly show bleeding due to an aneurysm. In this situation, your doctor may order a test of your CSF, which is collected using a lumbar puncture. The presence of blood in a CSF sample can indicate bleeding in the brain. 
A lumbar puncture can be risky for some people because it can lead to brain herniation due to changes in spinal fluid pressure. This test may be done with caution during an evaluation for a brain aneurysm, but sometimes it's not recommended in these situations. Have you ever wondered? How is a brain aneurysm treated? Well, treatment for a brain aneurysm can vary based on several factors, including 1. The location and size of the aneurysm. 2. Your age and overall health. 3. Your personal and family medical history. 4. Whether the aneurysm is at risk of rupturing or has already ruptured. It's possible that small, unruptured aneurysms that don't have any risk factors associated with rupture won't require immediate treatment. Instead, your doctor may recommend periodically monitoring the aneurysm using imaging technology to detect any changes. When treatment is necessary, it can involve both surgical and lifestyle approaches, which I'll explain in more detail. 1. Surgery If the brain aneurysm is accessible, surgery can repair or cut off blood flow to the aneurysm. This can prevent growth, rupture, or recurrence. Surgical clipping is a type of procedure in which the blood flow to an aneurysm is cut off using a tiny metal clip. This seals off the aneurysm, preventing further growth or rupture. Surgical clipping requires open brain surgery and is performed under general anesthesia. Endovascular coiling is another surgical procedure used for aneurysms. It's less invasive than surgical clipping. During endovascular coiling, a catheter is inserted into an artery in your groin and threaded to your aneurysm. The catheter then releases tiny coils of wire into the aneurysm, helping to block blood flow. Brain aneurysms treated using this method can sometimes recur, so endovascular coiling may need to be performed more than once. 2. Flow Diverters Another newer option for treating a brain aneurysm is the placement of a flow diverter. These devices are similar to the stents that are used for artery blockages in the heart. Flow diverters can be used when an aneurysm is large or cannot be treated using the surgical techniques discussed above. Like endovascular coiling, placing a flow diverter is less invasive than procedures like surgical clipping. To place a flow diverter, your doctor will first insert a catheter into an artery in your groin, threading it to the area of the aneurysm. When the catheter is in place, the flow diverter is positioned into the artery in which the aneurysm formed. Once in place, the flow diverter works to redirect blood away from the aneurysm. This helps to prevent it from growing or rupturing. Flow diverters are generally safe and effective for treating brain aneurysms. 3. Lifestyle Changes Making certain lifestyle changes may help you manage aneurysms and prevent them from rupturing. These changes include taking steps to treat high blood pressure, quitting smoking, eating a well-balanced diet that focuses on fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean meats, low-fat dairy products, exercising regularly but not excessively, managing your weight if you're overweight or have obesity, reducing caffeine and alcohol intake, avoiding the use of drugs like cocaine or amphetamines. A ruptured brain aneurysm can lead to a hemorrhagic stroke. This happens when blood leaks into the brain itself or into the area between the skull and brain. Bleeding from a ruptured aneurysm can lead to several life-threatening complications. If left untreated, they can cause brain damage and coma. Death can occur in some cases. The potential complications of a ruptured brain aneurysm include 1. Seizures Seizures can happen during or shortly after an aneurysm ruptures. 2. Vasospasm This occurs when your brain's blood vessels suddenly become narrow, cutting off blood flow to parts of the brain. The risk of vasospasm is highest within 24 hours of an aneurysm rupture. 3. Hydrocephalus This happens when CSF circulation is impaired and accumulates in the brain, leading to swelling. Hydrocephalus can occur within days of a ruptured brain aneurysm and can also be a long-term complication of a ruptured brain aneurysm, sometimes requiring the placement of a shunt. Additionally, after a brain aneurysm ruptures, it can rupture again at any time, even after treatment. Not all aneurysms will rupture. According to the Brain Aneurysm Foundation, about 6.5 million people in the United States have brain aneurysms that haven't ruptured. In fact, an estimated 50 to 80 percent of all brain aneurysms never rupture in a person's lifetime. According to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, about 30,000 individuals in the United States experience ruptured aneurysms each year. 
When a brain aneurysm ruptures, the outlook is poor, with about 50% of individuals dying within three months. Because of this, it's important to be vigilant in monitoring existing aneurysms as well as taking steps to prevent them from rupturing. It's possible that your doctor may recommend surgical treatment for aneurysms that are large or at an increased risk of rupturing. If you notice signs of rupture, it's vital to seek immediate medical care to increase your chance of survival and recovery. After a rupture, recovery can take weeks to months, and it's likely that you'll need physical, occupational, or speech therapy during this time. It's also possible that you may never fully recover, depending on the severity of the damage. When it comes to brain aneurysm prevention, well, it's all about awareness and early detection. Be proactive about your brain health, know your risk factors, and don't ignore any unusual symptoms. And remember, knowledge saves lives. There you have it, folks. With the right information and a proactive mindset, we can all take steps to safeguard our brain health and minimize the risk of brain aneurysms. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious and stay healthy. If you found these video helpful, make sure to adopt the healthy habits into your lifestyle. Share this video with friends and family to spread the knowledge, and hit that subscribe button for more health insights. Your support means the world to us. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, and until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and see you in the next video.